Hi guys, Karen here with another cooking video. And today I will be using, again, the Le Creuset five quart brazier. Today what I wanna do is see how, if I can put the, I'm gonna do the meatballs and the pasta. Um, I'm not gonna cook the pasta in the dish, but I'm gonna put it all together and see how that goes. Um, it should be fun. I'm just testing, testing it out. And so this is my um, meatball recipe. So I'm using the Impossible Burger, onions, bell pepper, garlic. Um, I use a little bit of the, uh, this is the chili peppers. This is my one of my favorites, like my absolute favorite. Um, and, and by the way, it's not too hot. It's more, it's not like, um, it's not mild either, but it just gives a nice warm flavor. It's not like super spicy or anything like that. Um, but just a nice warm smoky flavor. Um, this is for the sauce. I have some bell peppers to chop up for that. Here I have, I know you guys seen this before. This is a um, Italian seasoning that I made and I added uh, salt to it. Um, so you'll need a little bit of that or just use salt. It's up to you. I have some um, basil that I dried this uh, summer. Yeah, and then I have some dry thyme from the garden as well, and a little bit of sugar, probably like a teaspoon. Um, I buy this spaghetti sauce because it's just tomato pure puree, and um, yeah. Oh, and I'm using the bucatini noodles, and also in my um, thing is a little bit of breadcrumbs. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start by cooking our meatballs first. Okay, so I have my meatballs going. Um, right now I have four, eight, 12, 16, 17 meatballs in here. So that's pretty good size in terms of how much the bottom part can hold. Uh, as you can see, I've done small meatballs as well as a few medium sized ones because everybody likes them kind of a different size so I just try to make it buried in here um, the oil and now I'm just going to make sure that this is not sticking because um, I want them to brown on all sides a little bit if I can so that they um, I can add the onions for the sauce it's sticking just a little bit that's okay if that adds flavor so I'm gonna just make these, make sure these aren't sticking, and then turn them over. Okay, now we've got this going a little bit. This is looking really good. And now I have space right here. This is pretty big. I have enough space here to throw in my onions and garlic. And I have my Dutch oven handy for the pasta. Okay, to this I'm gonna add some dried basil. I'm going to add some dried thyme. And some fresh marjoram since I don't have oregano. And I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Just because all I have is tomatoes and I just want a little bit of sweetness. And I'm going to add um, the chili peppers. this all in and then I'm going to go ahead and let this cook a little bit more over here and mix this all in over here. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's all mixed up. So I've mixed it all together a little bit. Don't want to break up the um, meatballs. And now I'm going to add my sauce. I'm going to turn it down. I don't want it popping everywhere. And right now you can add a bay leaf if you like. So right now, make sure you taste to make sure your um, sauce is really well seasoned. And if not, you might want to add a little bit more 
salt, pepper, um, and what have you. So I'm just gonna So I'm just gonna let this sauce cook down for probably about like I'm, I have it on simmer and I'm gonna have it cook down for about five minutes or so, ten minutes. You can just have it cooking slowly, but watch it because you don't want the sauce to start sticking and burning. Um, it's just basically gonna cook down until I put the noodles in it. Okay, our noodles are now done, and I'm gonna transfer them from the Dutch oven over to the brazier. This is once again the five quart brazier, so in my three and a half quart, um, I would run out of room, but I could still fit it all in, so this should just fit right in. That's what I'm thinking. It should just all fit right in without a problem, so we shall see. Okay, so now my noodles are in, and I'm just going to mix it together and show you guys the final product. Okay, guys, so this is the final product. It smells delicious. And yes, I've been tasting the sauce. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I hope you get a chance to make it. Like I said, this is the five-quart brazier. As you can see, no problems at all holding all of the pasta. Um, the meatballs, I think there were 17, um, the, uh, the whole sauce and everything. And I didn't add any, I didn't water down my sauce or anything like that. Um, it's just a wonderful, easy meal to cook. And you can cook your sauce for however long you like. Normally I cook mine for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Um, just let it simmer down. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys get a chance to try it and I will... Um, I think I already have the meatball recipe in there, but hmm, um, I think I'll, I'll just link that video be below, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to top it with your favorite um, Parmesan or vegan Parmesan or whichever you like, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!